Well, let's take a minute to review your factory coverages first. A lot to use the technology for. Okay. Well, the first level is the emissions coverage. That, that's an eight-year plan for 80,000 miles. Really nothing more than a catalytic converter, O2 sensor, and exhaust pipe. Okay. Now down below you have corrosion coverage for five years unlimited miles. That's kind of why it runs off the sheet. Now when I say the word corrosion, what does that make you think of? Rust. You're absolutely right. We just want you to make sure there's a difference between the way Subaru defines rust than we do in Minnesota. Okay. So if you have a perforation and it starts on the inside of the sheet metal and works its way out, covered 100%. Okay. But if you have a dabble on the paint and it works its way in, unfortunately that's not covered. But bring it in, we'll diagnose it. To be honest with you, we don't see a whole lot of inside out rust things happen. If we have an issue on paint, it's usually something to do with the environment. Tree sap, bird droppings, hard water, road salt, all those Minnesota things. Okay. Okay. So now, also in that five years is powertrain coverage. That's a five year expiring at 60,000 miles, whichever occurs first. We call, we call that a wet warranty. So if oil touches it or oil runs through it, it's covered 100%. So for instance, if you have a transmission shifting funny, your check engine light's probably going to come on. Bring it in, we'll diagnose it. Odds are it's not the mechanical portion of that system, it's the brains, since the technology shift that's controlling that piece. Unfortunately, that wouldn't be covered in your powertrain, but good news is it's covered below in your basic warranty. Now we get into over 5,000 components. Things like an electric uh, window motor, dash displays, sensors, modules, computers, all those brains. So you're good for three years, 36,000 miles, okay? Now just as important what is covered is what's not covered. I call that time. Your tires and wheels are not covered by Subaru. Good news is you do have some tire manufacturer coverage against defects and workmanship, okay? Um, most of the stuff we see in our service drive is not not from that cause, it's generally from something in the road, a road has potholes, metals, glass, things of that nature, so be careful where you drive, okay? Inconvenience, now your salesperson handed over two little computers to you, we used to call those keys, guard those like you would your cell phone, don't drop them, don't step on them, don't get any moisture on them, they're very expensive and I need both those back when you come back to see us, okay? Maintenance. Now maintenance is your responsibility, okay? So oils, filters, rotations. Make sure you never miss an interval. If you miss an interval, you could void some of these warranty coverages. And the last thing is environmental. Be very careful where you park the car. Now your previous car most likely had what we call side moldings on it. Okay, stop people from popping your door and making big door dings. So if you go to Target or go out to dinner after this, just be careful where you park. Because the designers, don't like the way the side moldings look, so they remove them off your car. Okay? Lastly is the adjustment period. Now, Chris, how many miles a year do you drive? What did you say? 10 to 15. 10 to 15. How long do you plan to keep in this car? Seven or eight years. Seven or eight years, okay. So here's what I want you to 